bees sometimes have been used by people for medicinal purposes. They've deliberately applied them to get them to sting them, particularly those who suffer from arthritis and rheumatism. It's said to alleviate the symptoms of these diseases, probably because that apitoxin has anti-inflammatories in it. Well, the jury's out on this, but one thing is sure, and that is that honey definitely has some medical qualities. This is where they cut a lot of the dead, dead flesh out. So when I used to wiggle my fingers, you used to be able to see the bones going on in there. Since 2006, Sam Edwards has been fighting a rare skin condition. It all started in Sam's job as a maintenance engineer, cleaning out an ornamental fish pond. It had been neglected for years because it was pea green. It had dead fish in it. And as I put my hand in, this koi carp came up to the surface and just brushed through my glove and it just caused a small cut. And I didn't really think much more of it until about 10 to 15 days later when my right arm started to go in large lumps from the wrist to the top of the forearm. They start off quite large and then they go very black and necrotic, which is basically dead tissue. The spell was like if I was rotting. Meanwhile, things were getting even worse. The arm went black and it went down the other arm and then it started going up one leg. So I'm in a bit of a panic now. Pain-wise, it was like being in a deep fat fryer, putting your hand in a deep fat fryer 24 hours a day. Finally, a visiting doctor from overseas recognised Sam's symptoms. He said, yep, yeah, you have an infection called Mycobacterium muranum, which is derived from fish to get it a lot in their country. Come on, let's go. The doctors tried fighting the infection with antibiotics, but the pills gave Sam jaundice, so had to be stopped. They started talking about multiple amputations. With prospects at rock bottom, the doctors were trying almost anything. Seaweed and maggots. The maggot one was quite interesting because they, they come in little pots and they put maggots on, but they died. And they weren't entirely sure why they died. <laughs> so they didn't try the maggots again. Then, just before Christmas 2013, someone suggested that Sam try Manuka honey dressings. Manuka honey comes from New Zealand and is produced by bees that feed on the manuka plant. It can be used in a variety of cases, surgical incisions, burns and even malignant wounds. The results, for Sam at least, have been impressive. It's life-changing. Within a, such a short space of time, I have never seen my wounds heal so progressively. The smell's gone. Within three months, I'm almost back to normal. They, they do sting a little bit. It's, it's almost like the bee is a little bit reluctant to give its honey away without a little bit of pain. So they do sting when you put them on. I've been told the mycobacterium moranum is still floating around in my system and if I get knocked or banged, it might start again. But I would say I'm 99.9% .9 cured. This treatment won't work for everyone, but the doctors do believe that the honey has played a crucial part in Sam's recovery. People look at bees as a little insect that swarms around their picnic, wanting to sting them. I look at a bee now as a little friend who sort of helped me out when I really needed it, a humble little bee. And you would never in a million years think something so small can have such a huge impact on a different species. Sam's story is a remarkable one.